Hello everybody, Pokemon Trainer Rob here, and welcome back to our Pokemon Emerald Adventure. So let's go inside here. This is the museum, and uh, it seems to be filled with thugs right now. Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. The entrance fee is 50 bucks. Would you like to enter? Yes. Please enjoy yourself. So what the hell is going on here? If I ripped off the stuff here, would it make me rich? If our goons didn't bungle things in Rustboro, we wouldn't be here. What I learn here, I can put to use on nefarious deeds. If I didn't have 50 bucks, so it took a long time getting by the receptionist. Aye, what are you doing here? Me? I'm the Team Aqua member you thumped before, remember? Back in Rusturf Tunnel? Here, take this. You have to forgive me. Okay, so we get TM46, which I believe is a thief, I believe. That TM, it suits you more than it does me. Hope I never have to see you again. Well, uh -huh. uh, so yeah, thief is basically a TM where uh, uh, while attacking it may steal the foe's held item. So there's a wild Pokemon that has like a um, item, a held item. You can actually take it from him, which is pretty neat. Um, and you can actually keep it, I think, too. If it's a wild battle, I think if it's a trainer battle, you don't get to keep those, obviously. But I think you might at least, like, knock it off, I think. At least for the battle, if you take it. You don't get to keep it, though, in a trainer battle. We, Team Aqua, exist for the good of all. We were told to assemble here, so we did, but our boss, the linchpin, isn't here. Oh god, let's find out what's going on. It's a fossil with wavy ridges on it. Soil on the ocean floor gets scorned by the tide. The flowing seawater marks the soil with small ridges and valleys. If this soil becomes fossilized, it is called a ripple mark. I see. So I believe you're Captain Stern. Yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, those must be the parts I ordered from Mr. Stone of Devon. Thank you, that's great. We can prepare our expedition now. Hehe, <laughs> hold it. We'll take those parts. But what? Who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants those parts. Shut your gap and fork them over. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be doing some battling here. So they're going to send out Carvana. Carvana is an interesting uh, Pokemon, from what I remember. I believe Carvana is uh, water and dark type, if I'm not mistaken. Or at least its evolve form definitely becomes that. Uh, so we're going to use um, Kip for this. I think it's like the, one of their first times we're using Kip for um, something of this extremities, I guess. Actually, no, I think we may have used him a bit earlier, but still... He's uh, finally going to be getting some uh, levels and experience here. Also, that was really easy. Wah! A kid beat me. Yes, I did. Oh, man. What a disaster. The boss is going to be furious. Huh. <laughs> Sniveling wimp. Let me take care of this. So, time to face another Team Aqua member. Oh, it's Zubat. Okay, won't be able to use uh, Mud Shot for this. So we'll use Water Gun and Tackle, I guess. But you have to use Leech Life. It didn't do much, but I think that will prevent us from getting a two shot. Yep, it, it exactly did that. <laughs> Let's just tackle it. Okay. Oh, another Carvana. So we'll use Mud Shot again. And this should one shot it again, too. Yeah. Oh, it, well, it crit, so obviously. But I think even if it didn't crit, we would have gotten it. Yo, good job, Kip. What? I lost two? Yes, you did. Now what? If we don't get the parts, we're in for it. Alright. 
I didn't count on being meddled with by some meddling kid. I came to see what was taking so long to snatch some parts, and you simps are held up by a mere child? We are Team Aqua, and we love the sea. And I am Team Aqua's leader, Archie. What makes you interfere with us? No, you can't be. You're not one of Team Magma? Wait, that can't be right. You're not dressed for the part. Pokemon, people, all life depends on the sea. So Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? What we are doing is a magnificent undertaking. Ah, fine. You're still too young to understand. Our noble objective. But I warn you, don't ever consider interfering with our plans again. The consequences will cost you dearly. And don't you forget it. Damn. You're... Ah, oh, okay, you're Rob. Anyway, that was intense situation. Thank you for saving us. Oh yes, I almost forgot that you even brought the parts from Devon. So we finally have the goods out of our hands. Whoops, there's no time to lose. We have to set out on the ocean floor expedition really soon. Thanks again, but now I've got to go. Feel free to wander around and check out our facilities, though. Okay, so he's going to give us a heal, and uh, we are free to go. And uh, I think with that, we can actually move on and start working on moving to the next town, too, which is interesting. But first, before we do that, Scott's back. Huh? I'm sure I met you somewhere before. Have I introduced myself to you? If not, my name's Scott. I just saw Team Aqua run away from here like they were stung. Let me guess, you drove them away? Hmm, maybe, just maybe, this trainer. Alright, I think you're going to become a good friend. So let's register each other in our Pokenavs. Registered this Scott person in the Pokenav. <laughs> I love how they make it seem like, yeah, why are you doing this? <laughs> what I'd like to do is tag along with you, but I do want to keep an eye on the talents of other people, too. So I'll be off to ruin the talents a bit more. Be seeing you, Rob. Okay, we'll be seeing you, too, dude. Uh, so, yeah, I think that is actually it. So, with that, let's actually head up to the next route. We're going to Route 110. As usual, we have some new Pokemon on this route. I'm not going to go over them just yet. But if we catch some along the way, I'll definitely uh, pay special mention to them. Um, also, if you did not register Professor Birch in your Pokenav, he will actually come all the way out here and then register you here if you didn't do it before. So, you can't escape that, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, that's uh, one thing that will happen. But let's go ahead and actually do some fighting here. Um, I'll put Zigzagoon in front. Just to see if he can handle this guy. Or this is not a trainer. Which should I choose? Make a beeline for Mauville on Cycling Road or take the low road and look for Pokemon? Uh, so yeah, this is the where Cycling Road is in this game. Um, it kind of just cuts through the route so you don't have to go through any of the wild grass. But... Uh, as usual, you do need a bicycle for this, which we do not have, so as a result, we're going to have to go on foot, which is just the way it is. Route 110, 103. Okay, well, let's actually, let's do a double um, normal type battle here. Zigzagoon and Slavko and see how they do. Actually, I feel like we did this before and we had that ridiculously long battle where we just kept losing our attack power. So... Eh, maybe this wasn't the greatest idea. Okay, Isabel and Caleb. They're gonna use... Oh! Plusle and Minon. These two Pokemon. This is the first game they appear in. They're, uh... They're kind of obnoxious. They're electric types, so you can expect a paralysis to happen at some point. They also have uh, Helping Hand, which, uh... It's basically a move that kind of is, kind of gives a buff to your partner during these battles. So, you have to look out for that. I hate that Slavko got it's, uh, paralyzed, but thankfully... Thankfully we're able to knock it down. Looks like that... Two pluses. Okay, well let's... Uh, I wish Slack Off could be used. I'll, I'll do this. I'll be on it, maybe.
Okay. Let's do that. <clears throat> Stop clapping for each other. Oh no, now we're both paralyzed. See, yeah, this is what I was kind of worried for. A situation like this. Now, let me guess, you got a berry? Yeah. That's obnoxious. Go ahead and do that. <clears throat> as long as Zigzagoon hits, we should be fine. Or not. Damn. Okay, well I'm gonna do this just so I can focus on... If one person misses, maybe the other one will hit. No! They both got paralyzed this turn. Oh, that's annoying. And while we're waiting for this, I did want to check something. But yeah, basically helping hand, it increases the power of the moves of the, the your partner, essentially, in a double battle. Okay, I don't know why I attacked that one and not the other one, but we, we made it through. That's all that matters. We do have another mining, though. Um... Um, no, stop loafing around. Come on. I'm trying to go for this plusle first, that way. Like, if, well, if a Pokemon faints when you targeted one that was already fainted, like, you'll just target the other one. <clears throat> so I just want to do that first. Unfortunately, though, we do have, uh... Not only paralysis, but lowered attack too, which is not great. That's just kind of the unfortunate thing is uh, when you're using two normal types this early on, and they're not quite at their evolution level. They just don't really have the power to take things out as quickly as like other Pokemon would. Especially when they keep being paralyzed like this. Stop lowering my attack! My god. I guess I could try to see if I can use a... Barry or something. Or not a Barry, but like a... I'm pretty sure I have a Paralyze Seal. Yeah, let's... I'm just gonna use this just to make this a little less frustrating. <laughs> Wait, did it not go through? No, it did, it didn't, okay. Of course, now Zigzagoon might die. Wish I had Quick Attack, but I don't. Minin does, but... Uh. Okay, we made it through. Zigzagoon's gonna level up, which is good. Man, that was actually kind of an annoying fight, not gonna lie. That wasn't close to what I could do to show off my Pokemon. I'll have you captivate my audience as often as possible. So we registered Isabel into our Pokeno. And uh, very quickly, I'm just gonna go heal. Okay, I'm back, and uh, we have a new house to take a look at. But before we do, if we go to the left right here... Uh, we're actually back on Route 103. This is the route that we fought May on in the very beginning of the game. Uh, there are actually some trainers here. And um, uh, we won't be able to get through this route completely because we're still going to be water blocked, essentially. But there are some other things to uh, take notice of here. So we're going to very quickly do these trainers just to get some more experience. Sounds like a good idea. So here we have Aroma Lady Daisy. I'm going to use a Shroomish. Okay, I do not want to make contact with this Shroomish, so we're going to 
I think it would be the best. I guess Rengra, even though... See, what I'm worried about is, like, uh, Spore. Effect Spore. Effect Spore is unfortunately going to, uh... Get me here if I use Wing Attack. Or not. Okay, never mind. Oh, it did. <laughs> it just fell asleep, though. At least. Oh, Rosalia! Uh, Rosalia is actually a uh, Pokemon that uh, gets introduced in this generation. That um, you actually can't get in Pokemon Emerald. I'm pretty sure you can't, anyway. I'll try to verify that before it sounds like I'm, you know, coming out of nowhere with that. Um, but as far as I know, it is, a. Uh... um, jeez, what am I trying to say? Um, <laughs> it's grass poison, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, uh, Rosalia is a grass poison type. It doesn't have any evolutions or pre-evolutions in this generation. It actually changes in generation four where it gets both of those. So it's just kind of a single type here, or a single stage Pokemon in this game. I've always liked the design of Rosalia. I've always thought it looked pretty cool. But unfortunately, like I said, uh, don't think I'll be using it in this game because it is actually not in here. So if you want to use one, you have to be playing Ruby and Sapphire instead. Also, why is Rengren not waking up? It's actually going to faint at this rate, which I really didn't want. Man, that's really annoying. Well, Cal, you go ahead and uh, redeem Ringer, I guess. Jeez, the... The, t the time when, like, getting poisoned instead of falling asleep would have been more helpful. Okay, well, Rengra's already level 17, or 18, so I guess I don't really need the experience for them as much anyway. As much as I hate doing that. Let's put... Shut up, Winston. See, again, I'm already regretting registering all these people. <laughs> okay, so let's put, uh... In front, we'll put, uh... Sig and Cal, I guess. For this double battle. We battle together as one team. Yes, you do. Amy and Liv. A puzzle and mine and... Damn it. <laughs> well, actually, this isn't too bad. Let's go ahead and... Get rid of one of them as soon, soon as we can. <clears throat> as far as Plessel and Maiden are concerned, though, um, they both have uh, unique abilities as well. Um, uh, Plusle has the ability plus, which uh, whenever it battles with Minen, Plusle's special attack is multiplied by uh, 1.5. And I think uh, Minen has the ability minus, which is when battling with Plusle, Minen's special defense is multiplied by 1.5. So, again, they, they're they basically, their entire gimmick is registered around like battling with them. Which I don't know. I don't. I don't think it really seems like that worth it because I don't think they're really like super powerful Pokemon by any means. And essentially, like again, you'd be using two electric types on a team. But I'm sure you could still make it work. What not? Just I don't know. Just not something I would personally want to have in like a team or anything. That's just me though. Unfortunately, it is lowering our attack, but thankfully with Cal, we're using special attack anyway. 
<clears throat> okay, this should be the last one. After we get Thunder Waved. Ah, thank you, Synchronize. Okay, there we go. Kimmy and Liv have been defeated. And looks like we're going to register them in our Pokenev as well. I was not actually ready to fight you. My Pokemon is lifely adorable. Don't be shy. I'll show you. Okay. Show us your Pokemon. Miguel. Say hello to Miguel Sanchez. <laughs> That's what I think whenever I see that name. Of course, it's always a Simpsons reference. Okay, good. And I can't use uh, affection because both females here. Not implying anything by saying that statement. That's just the way the mechanics work for gender and like affection based moves in this game. Okay, so good. We got effects board. Looks like that berry became useless. Okay, so Skitty goes down. Level 18 for Sig. Getting some good money for these fights. And looks like we're going to actually register you as well. So I think if we keep going... Okay, we have like two more trainers. Um... I really don't want to depend on Slavko's Truant right now, but... God, my fishing line's all snarled up. I'm getting frustrated and mean. That's it, battle... Okay, you just sound like you're getting a little too, uh... A little too aggravated, I gotta say. So, Andrew has three Pokemon. What's with all of them having Magikarp? I mean, I get it. Like, because of the old rod, Magikarp you can get a lot of at this point, but... Still, I would not try to go out of my way to get a magic heart. Okay, come on. Okay, good, you missed. Good, you crit. Uh, level 15 magic heart. Yep. So yeah, level 15 Magikarp does get Tackle, so it actually has an attacking move, but it's also just Tackle, so <laughs> that doesn't mean a whole lot in the grand scheme of things. Okay, so that actually didn't take too long. If you cross the sea from here, it'll be a shortcut to Old Dale Town. Foo foo foo, that's useful, isn't it? Yeah, it would be, if, assuming we could cross the water, which we can't, so it's not really helpful to us, to us at all. But we're not done yet. We still have a few more trainers we can interact with on this route. Looks like we have a du another double battle. I think we'll use Slavko and Kit for this one. Oh, actually I have a pickup item. And a Oh, wait, no, Antidote. I was like, wait, I can use that. I get to heal that poison. It's like, oh, wait, no, I can't. Or the Paralyzed, but no, I can't. My mind was thinking way too far ahead again. So we have Marcus and Rhett, Voltorb, and Makuhita. Okay, so I know what I'm going to do. Um, actually, this is not a great uh, matchup here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to use Mud... Let's get rid of the Voltorb first.
Perfect, okay. Since I did that, Slavko's not only going to go up a level, also going to get the head start on this Makuhita. I was afraid of that, but thankfully it's not going to do much. Um, I'm not actually going to go ahead and use Mudshot again. Just because I have the held item for it. And yep, it does good. Okay, perfect. I love to see that. Okay. This kid can rock. Hell yeah, I can. Oh! What's this? Slavko is evolving. What a great way to end Route 103. Slackoff is now evolved into Vigoroth. Now Vigoroth is normally when you have like a Pokemon that goes to its middle stage, like obviously the middle stage you're always kind of thinking, oh I wish it would get to its final stage already. The interesting thing about Vigoroth is that uh, Vigoroth actually does not have the same ability that uh, um, Slackoff has. Instead of a Truant, it has the ability uh, Vital Spirit, which actually prevents it from being able to fall asleep. So we don't have to worry about Truant uh, for this stage. Now we will get Truant back when it does fully evolve, unfortunately, but uh, you know, with Vigoroth you get kind of like a nice little break in the action, so you don't have to worry about um, Truant being annoying, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I found some items here. I think Guard Spec is another, like, item that boosts you during a battle or something. So, we got another berry section here. I would like to go back around and look at all my berry bushes, but it's, uh, it's kind of better to do that when you have, like, enough of the routes opened up. Unfortunately, we're kind of, uh, not really landlocked, but to get back to certain places, we have to go a very roundabout way to get there. Uh, so let's see, um, I'm trying to remember what I've planted and what I haven't planted yet. I think I'm just going to make this maybe a pin-up spot. And that will do it for today's video. This has been Pokemon Trainer Rob, and I'll see you guys next time for our next Pokemon Emerald Adventure. See you guys then. Later, folks.